Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing a couple of shaker cards featuring a fun galaxy background and the brand new Space Out stamp set from the Essentials by Ellen September 2019 release. I absolutely love the spaceship and it is so easy to color. And so we're going to make a couple of shaker cards today and we're going to, of course, start with this adorable spaceship. And I'm just going to stamp this using my Misty tool onto some Nina Solar White cardstock using some Gina K Amalgam ink in jet black. And I like to double stamp my images that I'm going to be coloring so that I get a nice rich black line. Also, I feel like at this point I should mention that if my sound sounds a little bit different, it's because we are currently traveling and I am sitting in my car at the hotel room recording a voiceover. So <laughs> I apologize for any background noise that you hear that you may not normally hear or any kind of weird echoes. So once I have those double stamped using my Misty tool, I'm going to use some Copic markers and color this spaceship real quick. I'm using the R37 and the R39, and I'm adding my darkest color at the edges first, then coming in with my lighter color, then going back to my darker color, and then my lighter color again. And I'm going to use the same technique to color this entire rocket ship. Now for the blues, I'm using the B34, the B37, and the B39 markers. And then for the spaceship, I used the T3, the T1, and the T0. And the T3 I only used on those outer fin parts. Are those called fins or wings? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not down with spaceship lingo, but the parts that stick out from the side, those are the parts that I use the T3 on. So once I have this all colored, I'm going to use the coordinating die to die cut both the little flame that's gonna come out the back of my spaceship and the spaceship itself. And I'm gonna use one of these planet dies to die cut the window from the spaceship. Now this die, that little circle die, coordinates with some of the planets that are in the stamp set as well. I'm not using those today, but they come in awfully handy when you want to create a window in your spaceship. Now for the backer of the window, I am going to just blend a little bit of the Catherine Pooler Juniper Mist ink onto some scrap Nina Solar White cardstock. It's just gonna create a light blue background for the back part of the shaker card because we are making these spaceships into shaker cards. And then I'm just gonna use some scissors to trim that out. Now I'm also gonna need a small piece of window plastic, so I'm just cutting that with some scissors and it's all gonna be hidden behind the spaceship so I'm not making it perfect. Now to adhere the window plastic to the back of the spaceship, I'm using the Gina K Connect Liquid Adhesive and I'm also going to use that to adhere a little strip of vellum coming out of the base of, or the bottom part, or the jet rocket thruster thingy <laughs> on the bottom of the spaceship and I'm gonna just trim this down. I just wanted a little distance between the flame coming out of the bottom of the spaceship and the spaceship itself, but I wanted this to remain all one piece. So I'm just kind of using that vellum to create a little bit of um, like trail from the spaceship there. And once I have that ready to go, I can flip this over and I'm going to fold my foam adhesive in half so that I have a double layer. And then I'm gonna cut this into thin little strips and place it around my shaker window, making sure that all of the pieces of foam adhesive are touching around that window so that there's not any gaps for my shaker guts to escape from. So big, big, big takeaway for shaker cards. The area in which you're putting your shaker guts needs to be completely sealed up. So like I said, I'm just taking these thin strips of foam adhesive and I'm just pushing them all to where they make a neat little box around that window. And then I did put a double layer of foam adhesive on the back of the entire spaceship as well, but that doesn't all have to be touched and connected and all that. So to fill my shaker window, I am just using these mini star confettis and I'm just tapping a few of those in there using like this mini tasting spoon. And then I'll remove the backer from the adhesive surrounding the window and I'll take that little piece of Nina Solar White cardstock that I blended a little bit of that blue ink on and seal up that shaker window. And I did end up having to just snip off the corners of this to kind of make it fit better behind that narrowing area of the spaceship. And now I have my shaker spaceship all ready to go on my card front. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna work on my card base. And I'm using 
some Nina Solar White Heavyweight cardstock for my card. I guess it's not really my card base. It's my card front. And before I do that, I'm going to add some sparkle to my spaceship because every spaceship needs a little bit of sparkle. <laughs> So to create my galaxy background, I am using the Stamp Market Painted Background Stamp Set, and I absolutely love this. This is a great way to create a clean and simple galaxy background look. So I'm just stamping it onto some Nina Solar White Heavyweight cardstock. This is cut to four inches by five and a quarter, and I'm using the Juniper Mist ink from Katherine Pooler. And I'm actually going to double stamp this to create a really intense blue. Now, my Juniper Mist actually really needs to be re-inked right now. So I need to take the time to do that. But y'all know, ain't nobody got time for that at this moment. <laughs> We're making a card. Let's keep pushing through, even though our stamp pad needs to be re-inked. <laughs> So once I get that stamped on there a couple of times, you can see I have a nice rich blue background, creates a great galaxy effect, but we're gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna heat set it before I move on to the next step. And then I'm gonna take some Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment Ink, and I'm gonna use a sponge dauber to just daub, to daub? Do you daub it? Do you dab it? Or do you pounce it? I don't know. I'm going to put a little bit of this white pigment ink in the center of this galaxy area that I've created. And once I have that kind of there, I'm going to heat set it once again. And then I'm going to grab the Catherine Pooler Bellini ink and add it to the very center of this white area. So you can see I'm building up the most white pigment in the center of this blue stamped area. And once I have that built up, I'm kind of fading it out as the edges, towards the edges. And then I'm going to bring in the Catherine Pooler Bellini ink. And this is gonna create like a little orange glow in the center of this galaxy, which I think is so much fun. Now for this, you can see that today I'm using some ink daubers, but you could also use an ink blending tool. You can use the tonic blending sponges. You could use a makeup sponge. Any of that would work to create this kind of, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is, but to add the color into the middle of this galaxy. And I needed to build up that ink color, that orange color a little bit more. So I went back and I did add a little bit more white pigment ink towards the center and a little bit more of the Bellini ink. And then I made sure that I heat set it when I was all done because there's lots of layers of ink on there and I don't want anything smudging. Now for my card base, I am using the Essentials by Ellen Linen cardstock. It's a top folding A2 size card base. So it, the total card or the finished card measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And between the card base and the card front, I am adding a layer of fun foam to add some even raised dimension behind this card front. Then I'm just gonna slap that down and then I can add my shaker spaceship right on top of that using that double layer of foam adhesive. If you wanted to take a little bit of the dimension of this card away, you could skip the foam adhesive behind the card front itself. And you could actually build this entire background on your card base if you chose. Now to add a little bit more interest to my galaxy background, I'm gonna take those same silver stars and I'm gonna add them just here and there on the background and I'm using a little bit of the Gina K Connect liquid adhesive. It comes out in these little dots. It's great. And then I'll also use a Uniball Signo Broad gel pen in white to add a few little stars here and there as well. Now this part you might want to do before you finish your card but of course I didn't think of that so <laughs> I'm doing things all wrong here. But I did go ahead and stamp and heat emboss the sorry I spaced sentiment onto the bottom of my galaxy here. And that finishes off my card featuring a clean and simple, easy to recreate galaxy background along with the spaceship shaker. And I actually created a second one of these cards featuring a different uh, sentiment, but both of them were created in the same exact way using the same exact Copic markers. But I wanted to show that you can really use this spaceship with a lot of different sentiments. It's a perfect birthday card for a little boy or for someone who's done something really amazing. I love that sentiment that says that was out of this world. As always, I will have links to the featured products used in these projects in the description at YouTube. But if you head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com, it will be linked below. 
Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Once again, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the very end. You know if you've made it this far, you are one of my favorites. <laughs> if you want to subscribe to my channel, click the button on the left side of the screen. And here's a couple more video tutorials I thought you might enjoy.